Kia Jen journey to lose 212 pounds. I am not at my lowest, but that's because I am on ibuprofen. I am doing some serious manual labor and I drink some Coke Zero. So I am not weighing in this week. And it was shark week last week and it's about over now. So I will be weighing in next week and we will go be going by that trying to get back to my lowest. That being said, that's what happens on keto, right? We go so low carb. If you raise your carbs a little, not calories, but carbs, uh, your weight goes up a little because it's water. This, Sharky, look, look, you and, hey, your sister loves to say hello. She, he hears them playing. Hey, sit, look, 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 look at yourself. Oh, no. Okay, he wants to play, so I have to let him down, but that was Sharky. There's also three kittens in this house that um, it is a lot of work. Boy, is it a lot of work. Hi, Piper. Piper's coming. All right, well, that being said, let me go ahead and show you what I've eaten today. Um, there is no way in, but there is macros, steps, and sleep to take a look at. Um, and I don't remember if I recorded yesterday, because I was going to record yesterday um, my whole month, week of Fitbit. So, oh, well, since I don't remember if I recorded that, I'm going to try to remember to record it now and throw it in there for y'all, if I remember, right? So, let me go ahead and show you all that, and then we will have a chit-chat. It is 10 a.m. I'm having three whole eggs, three ounces of egg white, eight pieces of low-sodium bacon with Himalayan salt added to the whole thing. And yes, I know, it's supposed to be a protein spare my five fast day, but I'm not doing that today. Okay, I'm going to try to show you how I'm doing my coffees now instead of just keep telling y'all. Really? Baby, I'm recording. He's trying to call the kitty. Alright, we go to about six of my collagen. I'm using the salted caramel right this minute. Hold on. I'm hard doing this one-handed. One pack of sweet and low. Okay, now, salt, Himalayan salt, 10 times around, which there is no way I can do that holding this. Let me see. Oh, hold on, let me, let me turn it off for a second again. All right, 10 times around, salt everywhere. These are my choices as of this moment. I do have other choices. I have some down here. I really like the honey bun. I have some in the drawer. Some around this bad boy. But this is my favorite right this minute. So that's what we're using. Dino left his in here. It's hot, so he just made it. Gonna kick his butt. Press down. This is the new machine. Hit my favorite, which is strong, maximum hot, and 12 ounces. And then it brews. And then sometimes I put a half or a quarter tablespoon of butter in it. Sometimes I put um, half a serving, so seven grams of heavy cream, or I just leave it the way this is. And this is how I'm going to drink it today. There. Willow's favorite thing to do watch her daddy play. So we just got this at Aldi's. It's got a scratching box inside. It's supposed to have lines on the window. As you can see, we're missing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Petsy Zero Mango. But um, you see we're missing some? This is why. Somebody's ate, ate, don't eat them. Give it to mommy, ow! He is eating the windows out. Stop it. He is being naughty and Piper's mad that he's eating the windows. Man, I can make him a real house, a big one. Out of wood. Oh, we should. Give me that. Give me it. Hey, this would last the girls forever. But no, you gotta be a punk little boy. Oh. <sighs> 
I think he's teething. Okay, so I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make me a bread this time. Not really crazy about the lemon one I made yesterday. My mom and them love it. I like it with the icing, I don't like it plain. So, I've already poured 14 ounces of my liquid eggs. I'm going to 24 as always. Now we are at 24. So, we're gonna try some stuff like Wendy has tried. Allulose costs so much. So we are doing two tablespoons instead of a quarter cup. I'm gonna get my tablespoon. Okay. So, man, I'm out of it too. I'm about to have to go order some. That's one tablespoon of allulose. That's two. Now, cream of tartar, we do half a teaspoon, as I almost spill it all over the place, cream and tartar. Voila. Salt is half if you measure it. I don't, I go about 10 times. I don't know what it equals, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, seven minutes for me to blend this up. One second. Okay, so two packs of Keto Chow pumpkin, because we are making my favorite. Okay. Now I have monk fruit brown sugar. So basically, it's monk fruit or it's a towel. Hold on one second. Okay, so I have my tablespoon. And that's one, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and do four. So that's a quarter cup. I just already have this dirty. Why dirty another one? Okay, so what do I want to stick in here? Wow. As soon as I figure out where I stuck my pumpkin seasoning. Hold on, it's missing. Okay, so I got my pumpkin seasoning. Just going to sprinkle some in. Quite a bit because I like it. Then we are going to take... We're going to sprinkle some cinnamon in there, too. I have not added the protein powder yet. We will get there. Now, pound cake. I love pound cake. So we're doing pound cake at Shrap. Now, remember, we have to keep our egg whites dry. So I'm going to need to mix this up really good. Mmm, that looks really yummy. My baby. I can't wait to have one. My baby. Okay, now, egg white protein powder. I need, okay baby, he's got to go out and help my parents with some stuff. And I was in the middle of this when they called. Not like I can stop. So make sure you turn your oven preheated to 325. I gotta buy more egg white protein powder too. So I'm doing a cup. Wendy's cut hers down to like three, two thirds and that's what I did yesterday. But I was not a fan of the texture I got yesterday so I'm going back to this to try again but I wanna find a way to cut it down cause it would be cheaper. I can't wait for the apple to get here. It's gonna be so yummy. And yeah, it's more pumpkin. And 
in a couple of more of my pound cake. And I'm going to have to turn the blender up a little higher for the last few minutes. So basically, it only fills up halfway. So I use three, three halfways. All right, let me go check the egg whites. All right, so my egg whites are almost there. We're going to check them real fast. Just give them a little check. Oh yeah, see that? That's peep. So it's seven minutes exactly for me. I do one minute at the end on a really high, high speed and the rest are moderate. So I'm gonna slowly pour this in. Cats are misbehaving. I'll wait for my shield to come in. So excited. Now let's scrape around the sides. I'm going to use this one though because it's more flat. It gets it better. The oven is now ready to go. You probably hear the rug rats, the little kittens running around crazy because that's what they do. Alright, I've noticed the center doesn't mix so well with this batter unless I really get up in here. Okay, we want to put all this back. We don't want to waste any of it because it is yummy. Alright, get back up in here. And yes, I've eaten this raw, even though it's like, what? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna get. Let's raise this back up and go for about 30 seconds or so. Here we go. Let me see, can I push y'all back farther? Oh my gosh, let me tell you, when I looked at yesterday's video and saw how swollen my stomach had gotten from not cheating on keto, I was really depressed yesterday. Like, it really upset me. I knew my stomach was swollen because my clothes are tight, but seeing it on cam really got me for a minute. And then I have to remember, it happens that time of the month, all the ibuprofens, all the manual labors, all the um, sandwich meat I was eating that I probably shouldn't have because of it wasn't the good kind that I can get away with. Yesterday it was, um, all, which Audi's was sold out, so I couldn't get more. Um, all the low-carb flour tortilla shells. Now I have to pay for all of that. So this time, I am trying to make a bunch of these. I'm going to make them before we start working on the roof the materials come Friday morning because in the walls and stuff because I don't want to have to grab low-carb tortilla shells because I'm starving and I'm exhausted but if I have my favorite kinds like this one in reach that's another story so this is where you could have layered the pumpkin the cinnamon all up in there um, but I don't really I'm not a huge fan of layering it for me I seem to like it better like this with some on top. Um, what I am going to do is, let me see if I can move these over. I didn't fill them up all the way yet because I love muffin tops and I wanna make sure I have plenty for my muffin top. And this is where I do like to layer because I like it crispy. And since there's only a few, 
I, this little mixture of cinnamon and just the monk fruit, normal granulated. And we're just going to sprinkle some in there. Then a little pumpkin. Okay. Because I want to make sure I get these bad boys. Like, this is my favorite thing and i'm gonna eat some of these tonight i eat them in the first night i want to order some more muffin um top pans i do have them in my wish list um i think i want to order more than just two that's what's in there right now though i really really enjoy the muffin tops they are my favorite they come out in the perfect texture for me everyone's textures are different of what they like and don't like um Dino don't like these ones really. He says they are okay, but the truth is, I think he's just trying to be supportive because I can tell he doesn't really like them. And that's okay, not everyone likes the same stuff. It's not a big deal. If you like this kind of stuff, then follow along with me and we'll make tons of different ones because I got some apple ones coming and I actually want to do more like a flat, kind of like a um, cobbler using the apple keto chow that's coming. Um, I've seen people use it with squash and different things um, as fake apples. So I'm going to look into that kind of stuff. I've been thinking about making a cobbler thingy. So just going to make sure these are all nice and yummy looking. My breads won't be as thick, but that's okay. Like it's big. So I am going to sprinkle. Some more of this stuff on top. Sprinkle this stuff. So these normally don't take the whole 30 minutes. And my other ones have been taking longer than 30 minutes. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe my originals I kept at 350, but I'm pretty sure it was 325 that I cooked them at. a little more even with each other. Definitely in the corners. I'll be there in a second, baby. I'm going to have to set a watch timer too because I need to go out there and help move boards. I didn't realize we were about to do it when I started cooking. So these bad boys are all mine. I don't have to share them with nobody. So I'm only going to sprinkle a tiny bit of this. I'm going to go back over it with just cinnamon in a second. And I'm going to sprinkle some pumpkin. And yes, the mix tastes yummy. So that's how I know I'm going to like it. It seems to be not as strong once you cook it. So if your mix is semi-flavored, your stuff barely will have flavor, at least in my opinion. Gonna put some more cinnamon on these. Okay, into the oven for 30 minutes. I'm not sure on these ones. I'll come back and check them as we go. Um, yeah, I'm a mess. So this is what they look like. Not really fancy, not all the way to the top as usual, but that is okay. Um, maybe I need a little pan for this one. I had a little trouble last time. If I have a little pan, I thought I did. <sighs> but I don't. I don't know where it is. So they're going in with no pan. I'll just, yeah. All right, 30 minutes. We're moving boards around, getting ready for a delivery for Friday morning. We, I'm also cooking that bread. I'm gonna go check on it right now because I don't know how long those muffin tops will take. I cook them longer than I would the bread. I like them crispy, like toast crispy. 
like the whole entire edges. It's almost like moraine, making a moraine type texture. Like it's hard for me to explain. It's not dried out crispy, more like moraine crispy. Um, hold on. So that's why I'm dead. I'm dead every day. We have been working nonstop for almost two weeks now between orders, rearranging houses. I can't even walk in this house. It's a big sty. It's freaking, look. This is cats, toys. I put them away. They drag the boxes back out. They drag their food plates around. They have now started collecting my socks and making a pile of them. They should be in the laundry basket in the bathroom. They go get them out and bring them one by one. I keep taking them back and they keep bringing them back. It's like having three toddlers, people. I mean, this house is messier than when I have a child. When my child was a child. They love these boxes. I can't get rid of them. And I put them away and they drag them in their teeth. It's the funniest crap I've ever seen. I've seen dogs do that. I never saw a cat do it. And I've had so many cats in my lifetime. So this is Mommy's Angel. Sharky is the one who bites me to death to wake up, um, to wake me up every morning. Of course, she does too. Uh, this morning, they decided to wake me up at 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. 4 a.m. to eat and 6 a.m. because they wanted, this is Piper, they wanted to go on the porch. I didn't wake up until 8, so they were very angry at me. And right now, it's too hot to have the door open and they can't outside. They are very spoiled, used to AC kitties. So, you saw... Um, my subs wasn't as high as it has been, but I did a lot of work yesterday. Still doing a bunch today, making me that bread that you just saw. Um, in the oven still right now. It smells amazing in here. Pumpkin's my favorite. So we're sticking with pumpkin for me for a while, other than when the apple comes, because yeah, I got some plans. Uh, and I'm trying not to be so down on myself for water fluctuation, because it is a huge fluctuation. And it really pissed me off. So, like I said, it, I have learned with this week of all this intense labor that Code Zero will never work for me. Not a daily thing, not multiple cans a day, low carb tortilla shells will never work for me. Not a daily thing, one a week maybe, okay? I am learning that I really do have to stick to the butter sandwich meat. Like, these are things I knew, but I thought I had lost so much weight that that wouldn't matter anymore. I wouldn't flux up so high. Yes, I'm manual labor. Yes, it's that time of the month. Yes, I hit a new low, and my body always shoots up really badly when I hit a new low. Yes, I'm taking ibuprofen around the clock, but those items contributed to it, all right? Going from 157.8 to two days ago, got to 174 when I was really angry and upset looking at the scalp. That might have been yesterday when I got on there real fast. I don't know what I am today, but it pissed me off because I didn't have cake. I didn't go eat cake, okay? I didn't, I didn't have popcorn at a movie. Like, I didn't go have tons of stuff that I would be like, oh yeah, mm -mm. So. It is what it is, and now we're just going to let my body do what it's got to do so I can get back down to it. But following the uh, Love and and Keto's Challenge um, channel with Wendy and Harry, which I love to death. I watch them every day. I finally caught up today with them. Um, well, I'm almost caught up. I'm in the middle of yesterday's, well, today's, that posted this morning. So that's where I am. But today was supposed to be a protein spare and modified fast day with no dairy. Well, I'm not doing the no dairy thing and the protein modified fast days are too low a calorie for me right this minute. So I'm trying to still keep my carbs uh, under 12 total on those days. I'm still trying to keep my fats 40, 50 or lower. It's supposed to be 30. Um, and I am doing dairy, the keto chow. Um, but that is only because I am working so hard and I was crashing and burning, trying it, and I was gaining so much more weight because I was overexerting my body and not fueling it enough. Um, even 
Wendy said, you know, you should be eating, doing all this work, you should be eating more. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing right now. If you want to do the protocol with them exactly like they planned it, I'm hoping by the end of the month I'll be able to get back on it and follow whatever they do in October. Um, since I failed so bad this month having to change it up, I want to follow in October, whatever it is. Um, but that being said, I don't feel like I felt like a failure. I felt like sometimes you have to readjust and you have to be okay with that. It's, and I'm usually not okay with that. I usually like rules and no changing it, no falling off, no nothing. But sometimes you have to listen to your body. It'll tell you what you need because the moment I went to higher carb, still 25 or less, the moment I went to higher fat, like normal keto, all the leg cramping, butt cramping, everything I was having went away because every night when I laid in bed after all that work, I was in severe pain. We already know I take tons of magnesium every single day, 500. I take, um, I get plenty of potassium usually and I eat tons and tons of salt. But I was having some serious cramping issues. Hold on. The muffin ones are smelling like they are done. Alexa, what's the timer set for? You have three minutes and 40 seconds left on your 30 minutes. Okay. I don't want to run. Hold on. Let me pull the muffins out. And that would not be smart picking it up with my hand like I was about to. Okay, now I am probably going to cook the bread about five minutes past the timer because I've been having some issues with it just not cooking enough. Woo, these muffins look yummy, 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 yummy. Don't worry, I'm the only one eating them, so it's okay that I touch the cats. I don't touch anything. I wash my hands after playing with the cats before I touch food. If it's someone else with me, I don't care. Um... So, as I was saying, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, sometimes you got to listen to your body. Because once I did that, up from 12 to 10 total carbs, I went up to about 20, 25 total carbs. Once I added my fat back in, the cramping stopped. So, protein sparing my five fast days are amazing. If you are not doing some hard labor. And if you are, and you can get away with it, wish I could because I have noticed a huge difference. I can't. I can't do it. So, that being said, the moment I can get back on it, I will. Because it was really working for me. Really well. I was enjoying it. Um, my energy leveled back up today. Even though I do have a headache, but I'm not taking ibuprofen. I'm trying my best not to. I'm just doubting some water and more sodium. Um, somewhere in my room is the perfect keto NCT powder stuff um because Wendy y'all gotta go check out Wendy she um drinks certain stuff from perfect keto to help not get migraines I suffer from a lot of migraines and I don't want to have to keep taking ibuprofen so I'm gonna go read read her comment exactly what she takes I know it's the MCT powder and I think it's the ketone one that they have too to help prevent and stay off migraines um, there's a lot of research been done on that and I notice when I am in high ketosis I don't get migraines but for me to stay in high ketosis is extremely hard hold on sorry Dina was playing with the cats by knocking on the window and I thought something serious was wrong also when I turn this oven off I will be leaving the bread in there for 15 minutes I don't do it with the muffins because uh, they are muffin tops and if they fall, I don't care because they're supposed to be flat. All right, usually I cook them the whole 30 minutes and love the texture, so I hope I still like this. Alexa, stop. So good, but I like it more, more crispy. This is also the first time I've ever done it with less allulose. And the texture is definitely more like bread to me, with less allulose. Next time I think I'm going to do less egg protein powder and see what happens. Mm -mm. 
Mm-mm. I don't know. You can't have this. Hold on. You can't eat it. No. Mommy will get you some chicken. You want chicken? Mommy get some chicken in a minute. You want to say hi, world? Little Miss Piper? You want chicken? Yeah? Okay, give me a second, all right? Let me finish recording. Willow is over there sleeping. I'm going to show y'all some clips today of them um, in their cute little box. Um, but as I was saying, if you take ibuprofen a lot, you have fibromyalgia, you have any kind of swellings, arthritis, the water will come on your body and there's just nothing you can do about it. You have to wait for your body to release it. That's why I don't ever really, now I know not to try to lose weight during the winter. My fibromyalgia is really bad. My arthritis is bad during that time. And it's hard for me to get my ketones to stay high enough to help it. Um, it helps it a lot, just not enough not to need ibuprofen. And ibuprofen keeps me from losing weight. So every year, because I totally miss my ketoversary, okay? My ketoversary was September 3rd. That was my ketoversary, and I missed it this year of four years. Four years keto. Everyone says keto is not sustainable and you won't last, blah, blah, blah. Four years. Even if I go off sometimes and have some junk food and then get back on a few days later. Four years, 212 pounds that will never, like, I will never be big again because I freak out if I even see the 170s like I did just now. Um, so, that being said, I've learned over those four years that I can't lose weight when I'm taking tons of ibuprofen. So, from the middle of October usually until like the 1st of January, I'm on tons of ibuprofen. That's when my fibromyalgia is usually the worst, and I don't know why. Um, and it's also when I'm suffering the most migraines. But January, February, March time frame, I usually can drop weight really fast, like, like there's no tomorrow. And I can usually drop weight like there's no tomorrow in April, May, June time frame. So I don't know what it is, but that's just how my body works. That's why it's taken me so long to lose weight, and it took me three years to figure all that out. I figured it out last year. So that being said, I'm going to check on these bad boys, turn off the oven, leave them in there for 15 minutes, and no matter what texture they come out, it is pumpkin, and I love them. So when it comes to strawberry and lemon cakes, I only like certain texture, no matter how much I love the taste. I can't do it, but pumpkin, pumpkin's different. And pumpkin always seems to come out in a different texture. It's more bready every time. And I don't need a quarter cup of allulose anymore. So that means that bag is going to last me double the amount of time, because allulose is expensive. Like, seriously, it's one thing. And so is the egg white powder. So I'm going to try two-thirds again tomorrow. Well, on the next batch, two-thirds of egg white powder. Um, I didn't like it yesterday, but it was a lemon. I might like it this way with pumpkin because that crust will lemon you too. And I wouldn't mind to be able to go down to half um, a cup of it. Yes, we need more protein, but at the same time, I'm getting more protein adding the keto gel. So, I'm going to shut up and show you what I eat for dinner because it's supposed to be steak. We're having steak tonight and salad, I think. Oh, I'm making a video. He's been taking my pictures for me for this food, so he thought I was taking another picture, but he does amazing, so I don't need to do that. It's 3 o'clock, and I'm going to eat some of these. They are my protein spray. Look how mom. yummy it looks. <laughs> I put one ounce of cream cheese spread evenly, evenly between the three pieces. It is three ounces of the protein spray mod five fast bread using the keto child that y'all saw me cooking. And I put one tablespoon spread evenly throughout them of the Chalk Zero French Maple Vanilla, which is amazing. Okay, so this was for this past week. 82,000, almost 83,000 steps, 33 floors, um, a total of 
th almost 36 miles, burning calories at average of 2,700. So calories in, calories out is bullshit for my body. Look at this crap. Look at this. Like, what? No wonder I'm dead. Okay, so yesterday my protein was 112, fat 63, calories 1,102, 12 total carbs. And this was just me eating what I want to do. Uh, my steps was 7,859 and my sleep was a total of 5 hours and 29 minutes. You can see all the breaks in there. 4 a.m. Kitties wanted food. 6 a.m. Kitties wanted me to wake up and would not leave me alone because they wanted to go outside. Then I finally woke up at 8 a.m. Okay, so I have put about 3 ounces or less of tomato. I'm using a tiny bit of mushroom. I don't know how much beef is here. I will weigh it out when it's done, get all this juice out. Once I drain the juice out, I am using one third cup of Romana's um, spaghetti sauce. And then I will be throwing some cheese in and then y'all can see what it looks like in the end. Is what it turned out to look like, and I'm starving. And Dina's got his finger on my plate. That's lovely. Now listen to me, my baby.